Those wild and brush fires can take a lot of time and manpower to put out. And a lot of times in East Tennessee, it's up to volunteers to do that. Lexi Lepov reports on how much of a challenge that can be. Volunteer fire departments like Walden's Creek Volunteer Fire Department in Sevierville are crucial for Tennessee. More than half of the firefighters in the state are volunteers working for free. Fire doesn't know whether you're paid or volunteer. You just, you go and you do. Many of the volunteers work all day at full-time jobs and then head to the fire station, putting in long hours, especially with the recent wildfires across East Tennessee. And if there's a large incident or something going on, then we'll, uh, we'll go out and fight fire till sometimes all night and go to work the next day. The long hours and missed time with family for no pay is a sacrifice volunteer firefighter Brandon Farragut says he will always take. Once you do it and you see the outcome and you see the the great benefits that come from, you know, you being there to change someone's day, it, it, there's no amount of a pay that can uh, amount to that. Walden's Creek Chief Tim Baker has been with the department for almost 40 years. He says the volunteers are stepping up with the higher call volume, but they always need more help. The volunteer is kind of a dying breed. Um, people just don't volunteer uh, like they used to. People can volunteer as firefighters and also in administrative roles, which Baker says are just as important. In Sevierville, Lexi Lepoff, WVLT News. And a reminder that if your county is under a burn ban and you're caught burning, the penalties are much harsher than burning without a permit. You can face up to a $2,500 fine and or up to one year in jail.